Hello, YouTube fans and Facebook fans of DX Engineering. It's Tuesday afternoon here in the Eastern Time Zone of the USA. It's time for Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. I'm Tim K3LR, and along with me is Jeff KB8ZWT. How you doing, Jeff? Oh, we've been very busy on the phones today. A lot of calls. Well, you know, the weather is breaking, and people are, are hungry to do projects, and... Uh, so I, I imagine you're going to stay very busy here for, for a long time uh, as we go through the spring and summer. Yeah, I think so. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. So, um, so I've got some projects going on here at K3LR today, and uh, I wanted to uh, show you a few things, uh, Jeff. Uh, here, hang on one second. We'll, uh, we'll sh share the screen. And Jeff, uh, let me know when uh, when you see my screen. Okay, it's coming up now. Okay. Yeah, do you see it? Yep, it just came up. Okay, great. So... Uh, we uh, over the uh, weekend, uh, W3YQ was up here, and we removed all of the uh, the equipment off the perimeter tables here at K3LR. And uh, you know, some of that equipment hadn't been moved in 30 years, but uh, we removed it so that we could actually raise the table. And uh, so here's uh, some of the the radios. Uh, there's seven of the uh, 7851s and three of the, the run station amplifiers and the NCC2. And uh, we actually had to tear everything apart and put every color code everything and put it into bins. And here's W3YQ uh, working hard uh, on this project. Um, when these tables were installed uh, back in uh, 1991, they were installed at a height of uh, actually uh, 27 and a half inches. And so here you can see this is uh, work that went on this morning, actually jacking up the table two inches uh, to go to 29 and a half inches. And the reason we wanted to do that is that uh, it's a better height overall for the, uh, for the ergonomics, for the comfort of the operators. So uh, we actually increased the table height two inches. Uh, back when these were installed, 27 and a half inches was kind of the, the hot table height. And, uh, but this was a huge, tremendous project actually to uh, go in and modify the height of the tables uh, to uh, bring them up. Uh, one of the other projects going on here today, Jeff, can you see that coax? Yes, I can. Looks like okay. a lot of water there. Yeah. <laughs> And the reason is, is that when we install um, coax cables here or hardline or control cables, we actually uh, use a power washer to, uh, to make the ditch. And that way, if by chance, and we know where all the cables are, but if by chance we would run into something, um, it's much more forgiving uh, to make these ditches using a, a power washer. And I don't know if you've ever ever had any luck doing that, Jeff. Yeah, I have done that with mine. Uh, when I put my coax down, I first used a uh, sidewalk edger, but then uh, the pressure washer did work a lot easier. And you see here that uh, two of the tower guys uh, with the pressure washer, and of course they're in full rain gear, because you know what you know what you end up looking like, Jeff. Oh yes. <laughs> all covered in mud. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, so that, that's some of the stuff that's going on here, uh, at K3LR. And, um, we just, uh, you know, spring is what this, this weekend is the start of spring. I believe so. Well, I think we we're, we're trying to push it a little bit here <laughs> in the warm weather and, uh, get working on some of these projects. Let's see, uh, see who we have on today. We've got, uh, uh, Scott, uh, K0 Mike Delta is on and says, um, weather's breaking. We got six inches of snow here last night. Send me some warmer temperatures. 
Um, now Jeff, WDA Juliet Mike is on. Two Echo Zero Radio Echo Echo is on. Um, Henrik, Oscar Zula One Delta Whiskey X-Ray from Denmark is on. And Whiskey Juliet Three Uniform is also on. And uh, let's see, Kilo Golf 8 Radio Radio Yankee is on. And uh, he's getting his springtime radio projects prioritized. And also George 6, Mike November Delta is on. And uh, Whiskey 2, Charlie Oscar Delta. And uh, he says, when will the Kenwood THD 74A be back in stock? Do you have any uh, info on that, Jeff? Uh, no, I'm not sure if they've actually discontinued that radio or if it's going to come back uh, in production or not. Yeah, you know, so, mon so many uh, chip interruptions and yeah. uh, when that when that plant over in Japan uh, burned, boy, it was just terrible. And uh, here's our friend uh, Jimmy Cessna, uh, Kate Kilo Bravo 8 November. He says, nothing wrong with tall people. I think Jim's 6'3 or 6'4. So, yeah, I think he um, is. <laughs> he'll be much more comfortable uh, when he comes to operate here and uh let's see uh we've got uh whiskey kilowatt three november scotty uh always great to see you uh wk3n never sleeps but he said he's wired he's always wide awake and uh, let's see who else do we have in here we got uh uh, C. Richmond, Echo Lima 2 Bravo Golf, and I don't know if Richmond's back over in Liberia or if he's still down in Florida. And Mike India Zero Tango Juliet Mike from Belfast. And uh, Bob the Traveler, his radio table is 32 inches. Well, that is that is a little too too much for us. I, yeah, Bob, I think you're, you're maybe in that 6'2", six, 6'3", six, uh, category. And uh, the tall guy, K3 STL, we know he's the he's tall. Yeah, he's he's got he's up to 31 inches. And uh, K0 November Echo Bravo's on with us, and November 8 Echo Mike Alpha, and uh, Mike uh, KE3 JP is on, and November 7 Bravo Victor Tango and Victor Echo 9 Papa Oscar Whiskey, and Brian says um, whiskey bravo 9 quebec victor radio do you tend to keep the same k3lr station equipment for a long time or do you do a periodic tech refresh well yeah periodically we do change radios we've we've actually uh, when i started out uh, uh with this particular shack 30 years ago i had the icom ic 765s and then we upgraded to all icom ic 781s and then we upgraded to IC 7800s, and now we're at 7851s. So uh, there definitely is uh, a change as technology changes. And uh, Dino Kilo Lima Zero Sierra says, thanks for the power washer trick. We'll come in handy here with the new tower. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And uh, November 5, Mike Charlie Hotel. November 9, Delta Papa Radio. And uh, Sven says it's still cold in Sweden. Sugar Mike 6, Lima Papa Fox. And Kilo Golf 5, Mike Quebec. And uh, see, uh, just received a call that I can get my COVID-19 vaccine shot today. Well, soon uh, for you, Jeff, I hope. I'm sorry, what? Uh, your uh, vaccine. You'll be getting the vaccine yeah, I'm not soon? Uh, I'm probably not going to get it. No, not for a while. Okay. All right. And we got uh, Alpha Alpha 5 Sierra Alpha and November 5 Mike Charlie Hotel and no November 8 Charlie Whiskey Uniform. Wouldn't it be easier to buy taller chairs? It would have been easier to lower the floor. Yeah. Papa Echo 2 Kilo and uh, Kilo Echo 9 Bravo Victor and November Mike 2 Radio and uh Let's see, November Echo 3 Fox. He says his benches are at 30 and at 29 inches. There's a, a slick calculator I found on the uh, on the internet, Jeff, that uh, you put in uh, how tall you are. And uh, so I, I took a look at all the various operators that operate from here, and 29 and a half inches is uh, just about the perfect height. So 
That'll. Yeah, I think uh, that's about what my, what my table is here. Good, good deal. Um, what else are you hearing on the phones, Jeff? Well, you did touch on it there with the coax. I've had calls about the coax and being able to bury it. And uh, like, for example, in my yard, it's always wet out there. Um, and people say, should they put it in conduit? Is it okay to just put it out there with the water? Um, what do you think? Well, yeah, uh, our coax at DX Engineering is direct bury. So um, I've, I've found uh, in the past that it, it's impossible to keep uh, conduit dry um, unless you have, you know, you put the holes in the bottom of it and things like that. Uh, some people have more success than others, but I gave up on conduit long ago. Yeah. And uh, I just do uh, direct bury. And like I said, it's so simple to add uh, cables here. You know, you just, uh, you just take and put a new uh, trench in with the power washer. And, of course, that was RG213, the uh, DXE RG213. So, uh, and uh, I, I went over uh, uh, yesterday to the store and, and got a 500-foot roll. And, uh, boy, it went in just beautiful. And, of course, you, you know, I love the wood spools, too. Yeah. Um, very, very sturdy and... Uh, uh, did I did a curbside pickup? It, you know, it was great. You know, you pull over there, and uh, within you know two minutes, it's loaded in the in the car, and you're off and running. Um, and I really like what you did, uh, Jeff. Uh, speaking of the store, with uh, turning the radios around in the uh, display cases, that that looks really sharp. Yeah, a lot of the customers have commented. Uh, I've heard a couple on the two meter band saying how nice it is to be able to go in there and now see the radios and see what they're looking at. Yep. Yeah. yeah you know, you can look at them on the internet and you can uh, ask questions to, to you guys on the phones, but it does help, uh, you know, if, if you're within driving distance and you're trying to make a decision. Um, but, uh, boy, I hope we can get that showroom uh, open here as uh, things start to improve. Yeah. Now, uh, I noticed... When Go ahead. Sorry, go ahead, Tim. Now, after you trench that, are you going to put down some grass seed and some fertilizer so the grass grows? <laughs> uh, the guys are now putting down uh, the fill dirt, you know, so. on top of it. But, but we don't, uh, you know, geez, if I put uh, fertilizer down here, I'd have a real problem. I mean, this the yard, it looks green, but it's full of weeds. I mean, you would go I crazy. Fertilized. <laughs> I fertilized over the weekend. <laughs> yeah, let's see who else do we have on here with us. Um, Mike Zero Alpha November Oscar, and Victor Echo Two Sugar Yankee Yankee, our friend Michael Whiskey Three Mike Lima Juliet down in Pittsburgh, and Don says I lay the coax on the ground after cutting it, it short, um, and after a year I had to pull to get it back up. No problem with the mower. It, it will suck it down. I do that with the radial wires, but I like to get uh, coax uh, down. And uh, here's uh, Jerry, Whiskey Bravo 9 Zulu. He said he gave up on conduit long time ago. I have seen too much flooded conduit in the professional antenna business. And uh, Jerry and Val are, are just uh, back from Florida. So uh, they're back to the, the uh, Chicago weather uh, there in Whiskey 8 Alpha, Sierra Alpha. Well, what projects do you have planned uh, for this summer, uh, Jeff? Uh, not sure yet. Um, I think I might uh, maybe work on making some type of a go box with the uh, uh, couple of the radios that I have for you know my camping trips and stuff like that. Yeah. Now that that sounds good. Of course, we got a lot of uh, good stuff for go boxes here at DX Engineering. So that's uh, that will well turn out great. When I was working in the store a couple of weeks ago, I, I had the privilege of finally getting my hands on that 705. And that that might be uh, in one of those boxes here for me someday. That's a nice radio. Yeah, it's a really nice radio that uh, certainly is selling like hotcakes. So it is. Uh, that's great. Well, listen, Jeff, I think we've uh, we've gone through everybody here that's uh, in the chat room and we've answered some questions and. We talked about coax, we talked about bearing coax, we talked about table heights today. So uh, always lots of great stuff here. And of course, Thursday, 
we'll be I'll be back on for the manufacturer showcase and then on Friday it'll be the weekend special we'll have more photos interesting stories we might even have a guest who knows let's see what happens but until then thanks very much for tuning in today hope you had a great time hope you learned something and I'll look forward to seeing everybody back on what well, oh, we got one more question here let's let's see what we got here we got uh, did MFJ slow down production of antenna tuners and as such due to the COVID yes Sean uh, everything is slowed down not just in in ham radio uh, ev everything is slowed down uh, there's a lot of um, folks that are out if they have uh, COVID symptoms um, you know uh, various vendors have had to uh, actually shut down operations and it's yeah. very difficult to get uh, raw material right now it's it's very hard so things are slow unfortunately but stay tuned to the website it, we're doing the best we can to get products in so that you can get uh, the products and uh, so stay tuned stay tuned to the website and 73 from DX engineering